Oh, well, welcome to a little casual walk I'm doing today with some of my kids. And, uh, you know, I had to force myself to not use the zoom lens today. I, can't, I have only the 600 millimeter F11 with me. I actually left the zoom lens at home. Everything I have with me, I'm just carrying in my pocket. And I have to tell you guys, I had a close call the other day. I almost lost this lens. We were out here with the family. The baby was in the stroller and I had the bag with this lens in it underneath the stroller. And she decided to take a bottle of water and dump the whole thing out in her lap. All went right through the seat of the stroller down onto the bag this was in, which was not waterproof. I opened the bag and this lens was completely soaked. Dried everything off as quick as I could and thankfully, it doesn't appear any waters on the inside. The lens still seems to be working just fine. So <laughs> that was a close call and scared me because I, I can't not just go replace a lens like this. And this isn't even an inexpensive one. Um, but uh, I also made another mistake today and brought this monopod, which let me show you if I, oh wow, there's a great blue heron just standing right next to me. So this is as high as it goes. So now I'm stuck carrying around a monopod that doesn't even work for me. And uh, <laughs> it's, I'm 6'4", so I, I, this would work for a shorter person, but not for me. If, you know, I'd, I'd shoot this great blue heron right now, but he's got a fence right behind him, so maybe he'll move in a little bit. Um, but uh, we're going to go around. I already got some photos of um, black neck stilt, and... I believe it's called a kill deer. He, he's, he, he was a little skittish, but I think I got him close enough, especially with this lens. Hopefully there's no heat haze though. That's, that's what we're kind of here midday. So that's going to be a problem. Um, but other than that, I'm interested to know if any of you use this lens and if you actually struggle finding the bird uh, in your lens. Like, so I, the black neck stilts took off and started flying and they were just flying around right in front of me for quite a bit. And I'm sitting there and I'm trying to get them and I just couldn't get them in frame, uh, let alone actually focus on them and get a photograph because they, I just couldn't even get them in the frame. Whereas my zoom lens, usually I zoom out, get them and then kind of zoom in while I'm following them and then get my pictures. So I'm really struggling with that. I usually tend to go and bring my zoom lens out because I tend to get close to things and I'm finding that I'm too close with this lens. So I'd love to know your opinions, like if you guys struggle with the same things or or if you actually love it and don't have any problems with it. But, so we actually just started walking and up in these trees right here, we're hearing woodpeckers. I've seen one and then I'm seeing down low here some palm warblers. But uh, so far, none of them have let us get a photo. But there is a, a woodpecker hole up there, which I'll take a picture of and I'll show that to you guys now. There's actually a couple of holes. So I think we're going to um, sit in the shade of this tree because it's, it's really hot today. But then just kind of sit here for a bit being quiet and see if we can get any photos of these things. And hopefully we do because then I can share it with you guys right now. I'm still uh, in that spot waiting to see if some of these woodpeckers or other small birds show up, but I was taking photos of the, the little holes, which I don't know if they're still in use right now or not. Um, I can still hear the birds. I just can't, can't see them. Well, that's cool. My daughter just found a really cool looking grasshopper. It's like all black. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, 100 to 400 or I get a picture of that. But um, so I, while I was taking the pictures of the hole, I noticed I'm at one two thousandths of a second shutter speed, and the auto ISO was setting me at 12,800 ISO. So this will be kind of an interesting test to see if those, how those photos turned out and how much detail it, it retained on this Canon R10 at that high of a ISO, because I know there's you go online and there's lots of mixed reviews of the Canon right now. Like you, there's people that just say, Oh, it's completely trash. It can't handle the higher ISOs. And Oh my gosh, there's a hawk literally right in front of me. It's been here. this probably the whole time. And I'm just noticing it. Hold on.
that's pretty cool maybe he'll let us get closer but anyway it'll it'll be cool and uh, i would have already put those pictures up for you guys but uh i'm gonna sneak see if i can get closer to this hawk oh there's one right oh my gosh there's there's one even closer i don't know if you guys can see that on that camera but it's it's right there in the tree Come on, look this way. I just want him to make eye contact. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. That's beautiful. The light's hitting him just right. I'm going to keep trying to get... I've got some shots off, so now is where I'm just going to start kind of working closer to him. Seeing if he'll let me get closer with even better shots. Although, I'll tell you, with this 600 millimeter right now, which I think comes out to like 940... Uh, with the crop factor on this R10, I'm he's pretty much right in my frame. You can tell he's oh, there he goes, he's diving, he's diving. Is he? He just dove, he's he's by behind a bush right now, right into the grass. I don't know if he got something yet or not. I so wasn't ready for that. I was, you know, I was looking through the viewfinder, taking pictures. There he's. Oh wow, he's he's almost my level right now. It looks like he might have something. Oh come on! He's got something, but he's like, he's behind a branch. He lets me get a little closer. I can get a shot without that branch in front of him. Come on. The autofocus just, just doesn't want to pick up his head right now. I'm actually using the single point focus here. No. Oh. <laughs> that, that right there was actually a little disappointing. So he's in the tree. I got just low enough and close enough to get that branch out of my way and get the shot I wanted. It looks like he was picking something out of his claws. I don't think he actually got something when he, when he dove off that tree. But uh, we'll, we'll go for the other one in a minute. My son was just reminding me we have the other one. But um, I was using the eye tracking, and it just wanted to keep, keep hitting the branches around him instead of his eye. So then I started using the single point autofocus, but just as I started using the single point autofocus, he took off. So I, I got some good shots of him, but not that last one, which is probably the one I really wanted. So we spotted another hawk. Hopefully you guys hear me. I'm trying to talk low because I don't want to scare everything away but uh as this as we were walking up to this one trying to get closer it dove down again like the other one did earlier and it didn't get anything and then it went up in a tree that's in front of me now but went behind the tree here it's diving again and then it went into a second tree but behind some branches in that tree so I'm here we go right now I'm waiting for it to come out in the open as, as you can see I have to lift my monopod which is not ideal. All right, put your head up. Put your head up. Again, I have to use the single point autofocus here because he's he's got something. Let's see if I can move. He's he's eating something. Whatever he got, I can't get a good view of it because it's behind the branch. The single point autofocus is really struggling. It's there we go. I think I just got some good shots of him eating. Oh yeah, okay, we got a few there. Still a branch in front of his face, so on a couple of those. I'm just trying to get in a position right now where I mean I'm not gonna get a full on shot of him, but at least I can try to get something with the least amount of stuff in the way here. You know what? I'm gonna sit up on the ground here. 
see if maybe I can take some video of them for you guys and show you. Ouch, it's, it's pokey stuff. But uh, maybe give you an example of the autofocus in the video here because the video autofocus is really not that great. And I know in my last video I didn't really go go over that with any of you. But um, so I'll get some video of them now, maybe some pictures. I'll put all up that all of that up now. And uh, the sun is starting to go down, but who knows? It's a good day right now. We might see more on the way to the car. Well, the sun's starting to go down on us, so I've decided to end the video here. But I am going to show you one more thing. I have an example just now of how the audio, audio, autofocus struggles on this camera when you're trying to do video. I took some shots of a red winged blackbird doing fine in photo mode. As soon as I hit the record button to switch into that auto recording mode that it has, which I don't like, I talked about that in my last video. But uh, it just it wouldn't focus on the bird, and it even bird even flew off the perch, which I would have loved to get some video of, because um, it was just sitting there on the perch singing. It, it would have been great video, but uh, didn't. Great blue heron flying. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, I actually got him. I actually managed to get him in frame that time. But uh, it just shows you the when doing video, the the autofocus does tend to focus or. Ooh, I'm getting tired. Autofocus does tend to suffer on this camera when doing video. It's not the best when in photo mode, but it does get the job done. But go ahead and show them the sunset. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead and so show them the sunset, though. Like, I mean, it's just a beautiful sunset today.
I mean, that's after that hawk encounter. I mean, it's there's no better way to end the the day today. I need some water. You can tell, I'm starting to slur my words. Um, it, it is hot today though. It, this is it's been pretty cool lately, but today it really heated up and it's really humid today. It's starting to feel like Florida again. So, other than that, we're gonna sit here and enjoy the sunset. Subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.